I got from my boyfriend. These are really, really cool. Not expecting a lot of things that's happening good in my life. This is Chandelier, keeping it real. Hello, world. This is Chandelier, keeping it real. And I hope everybody's having a beautiful, blessed afternoon. It is 4.20 p.m. Friday. And I just wanted to share some gifts with you guys that I got from Valentine's Day. Okay. So, here is another gift that I got from my boyfriend. These are really, really cool. It's got these. Nice sneakers. Really, really cool. Very nice. Yep. Nike Airs with the pretty design on them. Very nice. I appreciate them. Wasn't even expecting this. Not expecting a lot of things that's happening good in my life. Now I'm going to show you the other gift that he bought me. And I don't be looking for things from people, you know. I'm usually the gift giver. I'm the gift giver. I usually, you know, it's the gift giver. Yeah. Nothing usually happens to me nice like this. And here is another a nice hoodie sweater he bought me too. Taking it out the bag. This matches with the with the sneakers he bought me. See it has this logo on here. He's a nice logo, y'all. Look at that. And it got the the cute little daisy right there. And in the back, see this the hoodie, nice and warm. And I like them big like this too. And this is the back. That is nice, right, you guys? Love it. Can wear white with this? Yellow, purple. Purple pants, dress, skirt, whatever you want to wear with your, with your hoodie. Shorts, anything. Especially spandex. I love my leggies. And that's what I want to show you guys. And reminisce. And see how everyone's doing. Because me and my daughter, we've been doing a lot of things. And we're putting a lot of things together for you guys. You know, pieces of contact, you know, that's going to be, you know, a little lengthy. To, to keep you entertained and keep you interested. You know, for those that, you know, watch them. Not, not for ones that just hit the button and you're going off it. You know, because we know who is watching them all the way through. And we know... Who is just hitting the button, you know, and that's no view, you know. But anyway, we trying to just keep it, everybody entertained. And plus, this is something that we love doing because we like to entertain ourselves as well. So while we entertaining ourselves, it's a two-for-one deal. Y'all get entertained, we get entertained. And it's something that we love doing anyway, you know. Because like I said, we got a lot of things coming up, you know, like... My mass segments, my, my talk videos, my cooking videos, you know, and things that we do on TikTok, you know, dancing, whatever we're doing, just, just different things, putting stuff up on our Instagram channel. Y'all could go up there, and we always say that every time, so everybody should know that we got the Instagram, we got the TikTok, we got the YouTube channel, so did my daughter puts them down at the bottom so you could just hit that one go to my channel or go to her channel you go to either one then we got what are we doing so don't miss that one i know we got to put some videos up up on that what are we, what are we doing and then our family channel so we got five channels all in total so i know we got to put some more on what are you doing in our family channel 
so we're just putting a, a lot of material together and stuff, you know, because we're very busy doing things. I don't want to give no exciting stuff away yet, you know. It's like at the tip of my tongue, but, you know, I don't want to su su uh, spoil the surprise. But as y'all know, I've been making my mask, so I, I might be making one real soon, you know. Maybe I could get like maybe one or two out. I'm not sure because, like I said, with one, I got to start early. So if I start early, maybe I can get two in one day because I hand make it with hand. I don't use no sewing machine, nothing. And I know you're like, well, why don't you use a sewing machine? It'd be quicker. No, because I get the enjoyment out of using my hands because I can make dolls. I can make um, pillows. I can make blankets and stuff like that. I got a blanket now that I still got to complete. You know, so I like working with my hands. You know, I'm very crafty with my hands, you know, because I love arts and crafts. So I get the enjoyment out of making my things with needle and thread. And, you know, I got my little sparkling, my little rhinestones. I'm going to get other stuff to put on the mask and everything. And I just want y'all to just enjoy it, you know, watching me, you know, make the mask and stuff like that. Like I said, you get a two-for-one deal, too, because while I'm making the mask, you're getting a talk segment all in one, too. So, that's a goal right there, you know, because when I speak, I speak the truth. And when I speak, I speak from my heart, you know. I don't speak from my mind, you know. And if anybody understand that, they understand what I'm saying, you know, because it got to come from the heart, you know, because the heart feels it, you know, knows it. And then the mind register it, and then my tongue speaks it out from my heart, you know. So I talk real facts. I know some, it, it may trigger something, and it may make people think, may make people a little, you know, sad, a little hurt, or really hit home, or really, it's for those that really need to hear it, that don't want to hear it. That's why they hit the button and then get off, because I said, if it's for you, you know, keep watching, and if it's not for you, still keep watching because you could learn something for yourself, and then you could pass it on to the next person or tell the next person, oh, yeah, go in there, Chandelier, she got some good, you know, talk segments because I speak facts and truth. And like they said, real people like myself, we ain't going to have friends because people don't want to hear the real truth, you know, and then it, it'd be like, oh, it seems like... She's talking to me. You know, it's just like when you go into church and the preacher's preaching something. And you'd be like, well, I'm glad I came to church today. Because it seemed like this sermon is for me. It seemed like the pastor's talking to me. So that's how some people probably feel about me. Like, I feel like she's talking to me. Or she's trying to say something. No, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm saying it. You know, I don't bite my tongue. It don't heal my tongue. I don't slip or nothing. Scrape forward, raw, cut just like that, you know. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I put, I put barbecue sauce on there, I put red pepper in there, I put salt on there, hot sauce, just like that. Give it to you, scrape raw, uncut, unfiltered, you know, because people need to hear the real truth and the real facts about things, you know, because a lot of people want you to, you know, babysit this, you know, or pacify that, you know, and some people really like to hear the real truth, you know, the don't be sugarcoating nothing for me. Tell me the truth. Because I'm that type of person. I'd rather hear a truth than a lie. You know, don't pacify nothing. Don't don't beat around the bush about nothing. Come straight forward with it. You know, tell it to me uncut, unreal. Because I'm going to tell it to you uncut, unreal. Like I said, a lot of people like me that can relate, we don't have a lot of friends because we're we too real for them. You know, not that we're trying to come at people or hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just going to tell you how I feel and what I know to be real because things that I experience. I'm not saying what this one experienced, that one experienced, or something like that is what I don't experience, what I don't go on through, and what I see other people that experience things too. But mainly what I experience in my life and what I have gone through, you know, and what I am going through today, you know, because like I said, when I say today, I'm talking about in 2021 now, this year, don't want to jinx nothing, but, you know, thank God. Thank Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit, you know. So, I'm doing what I got to do, you know. I'm taking care of things, taking care of business, taking care of house, taking care of myself, taking care of my mental status, you know, not letting nobody get up in my personal space, not letting nobody, you know, try to play mental mind games with me. 
you know, try, like people trying to turn the tables on you, like when they know it's them. Rather, it's good, bad, and different, because everything don't always got to be bad, bad, bad. Oh, this one doing this, this one doing that, 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 you know? It could always be good things, because so far, so good, good things been, you know, you know, easily, gradually, you know, that I'm seeing, that's, that's, that's happening in my life, you know? So, like I said, I take day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour. You, you know, I always have my guard up, because... All the stuff that I don't went through, so I never let my guard down. You know, so I'd be like, okay, this is too good to be true. You know, because I really never had, you know, things like that. You know, good. Like, okay, what's next? Okay, now this good thing happening. Now when the hammer gonna drop over here, or they gonna try and backstab me with a knife in my back here. You know, why they being so nice? You know, so people. You know, I'm seeing this. To let people understand where I'm coming from and trying to reach people to see if they've been going through the same thing because they probably feel the same way that I feel. You know, why is this happening? This is happening. So, this, you know, like good things is happening to me now. Okay, what's the gimmick? Okay, what's after this? You know, okay, now this here's happened. Oh, there's something. They, they, they must want something or something's going on. Because you've been through so much, you can't help but to think, okay, this nice thing is happening today, yesterday, last week. Okay, now what's up? So we sitting back, we waiting. You know, we got a guard up. You know, so, so far, okay, so it's genuine. Because you know when something is genuine, because it's, nothing comes behind that. When you're genuine and honest and true and things coming from the heart. You, you know those people. You know what I'm saying? You know who they are. And so far, I've been seeing genuine things happening. You know, in my household, outside of my household, I've been seeing genuine, nice things happen. You know, and I'm, I'm, really, I'm really amazed. I'm really surprised. It's no joke, y'all. You don't see me laughing or smiling. Or not. I'm really, really surprised. When it comes to me anyway, something genuine, you know, scrape from the heart. There's nothing behind it. You know, wow, for me, that, that's a, that's a, that's an A plus right there, you know, and I just want to reach those that know what I'm talking about, you know, and have them think, yeah, you know, Chandelier is right, you know, because when people come into, you know, being nice and, you know, and doing nice things for you, giving you nice, beautiful gifts that you never really had, you know, and I mean, nice gifts. You know, not nothing like, you know, like, well, here, so to speak, you know. I don't want this. You can have it. No. I mean, brand new things. Very, very nice brand new things. That's all I can say, you know. But I just thank God for my life, my health, my strength, my mental status, you know, where I am today in my life. And I am in a very, very, very decent place in my life because I'm not letting Satan in because Satan he gets intimidated and gets scared you know when he can't control things you know he is a sabotager and he works through people and when he feel he can't control things he'll just keep on and keep on but then when he see that he can't get to you, he'll try the next person and the next person. Because like I said, Satan, Lucifer, he was an angel of God, like I have said before. Got thrown down, down here. And some angels followed him. So he think that he's better than God? No. God rules. So what he does, when he feel he can't get to you, he'll go to, to the next one. Like I said, he only mess with the babies, the innocent, the vulnerable, and the weak. And those are the ones that he messed with. Yeah, the vulnerable, the weak, the innocent, and the baby. And he and he, when he feel that you weak, he'll have his way. He'll just run all up through you. And when you especially when you're vulnerable, forget it. You know, and you're in a bad place. And if you're depressed and sad, he got you. And messing with the babies. 
You know, so those are people you come after when you're all vulnerable and sad and stuff like that. You know, so you got to have your guards up, whether you're vulnerable, sad, weak, you know, depressed. You got to always keep your guards up because you got to you gotta watch Satan like you watch people because he's a spirit person. You can't see him, but he there and he's waiting, you know, like a, like a tiger, like a snake jump right up on you. Before you know it, you're doing things, you're saying things that you never said, you're doing things that you never did, you know. You have everybody scouting about, moving away from you, like, what's getting into this person? Ain't nothing but the devil. Ain't nothing but the devil jumped in that person. And they, and and if they don't figure it out, the devil can really destroy your life. He could really tear you down. Not just you, people that love you, because... When you do things, it don't just affect that person that's acting up. It affects family, friends, co-workers, everybody. It affects your mother, your grandmother, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your sisters, your brothers. You know? It affects the whole shebang, your whole circle when that person is acting up. So people got to be careful when they're carrying on like that. You know? Go, please, get professional help. Because ain't nobody going to keep tolerating and tolerating the same thing every year. This is 2021. It got to be like, it got to come to a screeching horn. You know, like, uh, put on brakes. And take a look at the man in the mirror. Pray for yourself in the mirror. Talk to yourself in the mirror. That don't mean you crazy. Just don't answer yourself back. You know, that's what they say. You could talk to yourself. But just don't answer yourself back. You got to pray. Get that demon off you. Get him up off you, cause he he riding your back, you know, riding your back. It's like the, a grand reaper, you know, like like a person got a dark cloud over them, and they can't get from under that dark cloud, cause you know why? Because they put themselves under that cloud, cause it's all in what they do, all in what they say. What are they dealing with? What are they doing? What are they taking? You know, to make them act like that, you know. Then the person be fed up. Then they'd be like, I'm gone. Even with a family member, be like, I'm not dealing with him or her no more. I can't take it. It's over. It's done. Let them figure it out because we don't did everything in, on God's green earth to help this person. Now, they got to do it for themselves. That's it. That's it, you know? And I just pray that everybody get it together. This is 2021. And like I said, I'm in a, in a good place, you know? I'm not saying I'm, uh, I'm better than anybody or I got it all together and stuff. Because looks is deceiving, y'all. So, people can look good, smell good, dress nice, smile every day. You don't know what's going on in that person's mind. You don't know what type of thing is going on in their life for that day. You know, or what they've been through last week or last year. You know, so people carry things very well. And you don't even know anything wrong with them because they hide it so good. You know, because they don't want nobody to know. Because some people don't want to put their problems and issues on other people. So people know how to mask it really good. You know, it's like being an actress. That's all. If you know how to be a, if you know how to act, you know, like nothing wrong, you know, being an actress, you know, anybody can be a good actress. You know, so you never know just because, oh, they got it all together or they living good or they living large and look at them and look at that. Don't let, don't let things fool you, you know, because what you see on the outside looking good, that don't mean that the inside is good. You see the outside of the person, you know, they smile and they're happy, they're looking good, hair done, nice clothes, you know, the guy, he dressed nice, you know, the woman, nice clothes, hair done, makeup, jewelry, nails and stuff, you know, got the kids looking good and everything. That's what me, everything is good. Everybody can showboat. You know, anybody can showboat and put on a good show for you, you know. You don't know what's going on behind their closed doors, you know, so... You got to be careful with that. Don't think because you see everything nice and they got this and they got that. Beautiful home, car, really this and that. That don't mean nothing. You know? Like I said, anybody can act and anybody can showboat and put on a good act for people. You know? Because they're they massing it. You know? And some people feel that they can't go to a counselor. They can't talk to nobody. So they keep it to themselves. 
you know, you feel you can't go to a counselor, go to a, a close friend or a close relative, somebody that'll keep your your stuff to themselves. Like you say, whatever be talked about in this room, let it stay in this room. Don't take it on the outside. You know, when somebody's telling you something, especially in confidence like that, then you is portraying that person's trust. If they tell you anything, you portray their trust. So it's like, who can I talk to? If I can't talk to him, her, you know, who can I talk to? You know, that's why a lot of people go to, to counseling because the counselor don't, don't know them. So the counselor ain't going to be like, well, they're going to tell this and that when the other. That's a counselor. So a lot of people feel safe that way because they know it ain't getting out. You know, so whatever they say to that counselor, him or her, is it stays right there in that room until the next session. You know? And it's bad when you really don't even want to talk to a counselor. You don't even want to talk to nobody because now you feel you cannot trust nobody. You know? And, 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 it's, and it's really sad and it's really bad. You know? And that's why a lot of people, you know, get crazy thoughts and stuff like that. And they feel like they ain't got nobody. You know? But people is there for them. You know, especially if you know you was there for him 100%, talk to him numerous and numerous of times, hours and hours of times, and, you know, trying to, you know, um, console them and stuff like that. You know, giving your best and your all, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, you know, to these people or that person, you know. And it's like, what more can you do? They got to want to help themselves. Now, we as a people, we helped them. We did everything in our power. It's up to them now. You know? Ain't nobody lacking no love or throwing nobody away. It's time for that person or people or they to get themselves together. You know? And we praying and praying and praying and praying. You know? Because when you got p good people in your life, family and friends and stuff like that, I'm talking about too. When you got good people in your life, you know, they'll back off. They're not going to leave you stranded. They're just going to back off and let you find yourself. Let you find your way back, find yourself out of them dark clouds. You know, that, that that's clouding your vision. You know, because your, your vision is very clouded. You cannot see, and you got to get yourself out of that dark cloud. You got to go towards the light, like they say, so to speak. You got to find yourself, get you a flashlight, and get up out of them dark clouds. Because ain't nothing but darkness, you know. You get, you, people got to want to help themselves, you know. You can only do but so much for somebody, you know. And I'm just glad that, you know, being in quarantine, you know, really made me think about a lot of stuff. Do a lot of soul, soul searching for me, you know, because... I'm not perfect, and we all live in an imperfect world, so nobody on this earth is perfect. Nobody can't say they didn't do this and they didn't do that. Their life is just grand all their life until adulthood is a lie. Everybody don't went through things. Everybody got a pass, you know, but, you know, just don't keep repeating the th same thing every day and every year. You're doing the same thing. You just don't want to, you just don't want to change. The only thing changing but the year, you just keep doing the same thing over and over and over. It's, it's, it's kind of sad. You know, got to get it together. You know, and like I said, I had a lot of time to think for myself and see how people really are, even your family, friends, and stuff like that, see how really people really are, which I've been new to this, you know, as I get older, the years go on, I'd be like, well, some people just ain't changing, you know, and certain things I'm not just going to tolerate, you know. And I hear a lot of people, and I take a lot of advice from other people that I hear and stuff. You know, I'm not going to just sit and just settle and accept things and put up with things. And, you know, and have people talk to me any kind of way. No, it's not It's not going that way. I'd rather say, okay, bye, talk to you later, because I'm not going to listen to, you know, madness and people being disrespectful. It's not going to happen. I'm a human being. I got feelings. I bleed blood like everybody else. I'm not going to tolerate nobody talking to me like like they lose it and they, 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 they're mine. You know, that's not necessary. You know, now if I can help a person, I help you the full extent on my ability. You know, I would go all out. But I would not tolerate disrespect for nobody. I don't care who they are. You know, everybody deserves respect. You got to give respect to get respect. And communication is the key. If you can't communicate the right way, then learn how to communicate the right way. 
And if you don't want to communicate with the person, don't communicate with them. Like I said, if you don't want to communicate with the person, don't want to see the person, don't want to deal with them, don't want to call them, nothing. Well, that's your prerogative. Then don't. You know? Because people think they're hurting you because they, they're not communicating with you. They're only hurting themselves and they're only putting themselves deeper and deeper in those clouds. You know? Because nobody's losing sleep over that. You know, if especially you know you're a good person like me, you could sleep good at night. Like I do, I sleep very well at night. Get up, refresh, and start my day, and thank God for another day. And that's what people need to be doing, so they're trying to be vindictive. Thank God for every day that you wake up and open your eyes, you know, and look in that mirror. It's a blessing, because you don't wake up by yourself. You don't eat by yourself. You know, you don't bathe yourself by yourself. You know, you don't put your clothes on by yourself. You don't drive by yourself. You don't do nothing by yourself. Everything you do, Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit is right there helping you. So people forget that. Did anybody get up this morning and say, thank you, Jesus, for another day? I bet you uh, just a handful of us did. I get up every morning. Thank you, God, for another day. Thank you, God, for this food. Who are you to eat that food without blessing him? Without blessing that food and praising God and thanking Him for that meal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, whatever it is. Before you put in not any mouth of food in your mouth, you're supposed to thank God for it. I don't care if it's a piece of bubble gum, candy, anything. You thank God for that. You thank God that you're able to get up and walk out of your bed. Thank God that you're able to get up and walk to your mailbox. Just simple stuff like that. Thank God that you're ever able to shower. Because a lot of people can't shower themselves. But they need people to help them shower. They need people to feed them. Spoon feed them. You know? They need people to help them get in the car, out the car. They need people to go to grocery shopping for them. They need people to take them back and forth. Here and there and this and there. You know? So, you is blessed when you're able to do things. Shower. Eat. Uh, run your errands. Do all that. A simple thing is making your bed. Make my bed every day. I'm able to make my own bed. I don't have to tell nobody, can you make my bed? Can you help me get in the shower? Can you go grocery shopping for me? Can you brush my teeth? Can you feed me now? You know? We can, we able to do all that. So people stop taking things for granted. You know, we're able to polish our own nails. Do our hair. A lot of people can't do that. So that's a lot to think about. You know? And people run around here being vindictive. You know, we aim to put on clothes. We aim to walk. People, some people ain't even aim to walk. You know, some people ain't even aim to talk. Some people not even aim to see. We thank God that we got our eyesight. We can see. We can smell. We can taste. Some people can't taste. Some people can't see. Some people can't eat. Some people got to be fed from a screw up. You know, some people are paralyzed from the neck down, from the waist down. Look, we can get up, we can walk, we can do all this, move our limbs, and everybody run around here acting crazy and being vindictive. Come on. You know, we can do all these things by ourselves. It's a blessing. And that's why I say I'll be sitting and thinking, quarantine is good. Quarantine, for me, y'all, is a blessing. Because like I said, you learn a lot and it gives you time to think. It gives you time to think. About a lot of things. And I said the simple things. Is threading a needle. You know some people can't thread a needle. Some people can't sew. Some people can't make things. I'm blessed. I'm able to make masks. You know I can make pillows like I said. I can make dolls. You know. I'm able to, to get up. Go to the bathroom. People have to have people help them go to the bathroom. You know. Simple things is packing up boxes and bags and cleaning your house, mopping the floor. Some people got to have people come in and clean their house, mop their floor, do their laundry, do their dishes if they don't have a dishwasher. You know? Simple thing. They're turn on the TV. Bang! You know, they can't do that. Just simple things. It's always something to think about. It's the little things. The little things you got to think about. Like going, walk into your kitchen to get a glass of water. That would be hard for another person. You know, if they got to take baby steps, they can walk, but they can't walk that good. It take them like, what, like 15, 20 minutes, and the kitchen ain't that far, just to go just to get a simple glass of water with some ice in it. Little things like that you got to think about. Tying your shoes. Some people can't even tie their shoes. They need people to help them tie their shoes. Everybody needs to think about these little things. You know, like if people want to wear jewelry, you know, because men won't wear jewelry. They want to put a necklace on or some earrings. They got to have some people put the earrings on, put their necklace on, put their rings on. Like us, we like a little ankle bracelet. Put your little ankle. There's little things that you got to think about. 
Oh, I want my curtains open. You can't even get up and open. They can't get up open the curtain. You have to have somebody open the curtains. Everybody need to think about these things. And I know when y'all see these vid this video, I know y'all going to be like, Scandalia, absolutely right. You know? It's little things like that that you got to think about. You know, even if you have animals. People love to play with their animals, but they can't. You know? Love to play with the kids and stuff, but they can't. You know, throwing a ball. You know? Having fun with family, playing board games, you know, it's just little things, you know, because a lot of people, it's crippled up in wheelchairs, you know, crutches, you know, they just can't get around, you know, like us. And we is blessed and we, and people got the nerve to be running around here complaining. You can walk, you can talk, you can eat. Some people on breathing machines. You ain't know no breathing machine. You can breathe. You know, I'd be like, what's wrong with people? You know, people walk around here, you know, in crutches and stuff like that, and canes, and walkers and stuff, and we could walk and stuff. What do we got to know to be complaining about? And these people, some people bedridden, can't even get out of their bed. You know? Got to have people do everything for them. Bring their food to them. Wash them in the bed. Get a bedpan, because they can't make it to the bathroom. People need to start thinking about the little thing and thank God that we able to do all these things that I just had mentioned. You know, because I, I, you know, I'm, I'm sometimes I just too, I'm just too clever and smart for myself. I just be sitting thinking about things, and my daughter she be think, "Mommy, you okay?" I be like, "I'm okay." I'm just be thinking, you know, like I'm a thinker. You know, people in my family we are thinkers. And with that, y'all, I'm gonna cut this, and it's gonna uh, a part two to this. Enjoy y'all day. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, blessed day because I am, and I'm Chandelier, and I'm keeping it real.